An AI lab in the United States has just introduced the world's first AI software engineer named Devon, and he's completely self-sufficient, apparently. So they released this video on X. Let's check it out. Hey, I'm Scott from Cognition AI, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to Devon the first AI software engineer. So first things first, I thought Scott was actually Devon, the AI engineer. And I'm thinking, wow, that's some quality AI video generation. But alas, Scott is not Devon. Scott's probably Devon's owner, Devon's dad. But let's continue. I'm gonna ask Devon to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devon is in the driver's seat. Okay, so to do a benchmark to make a comparison is not too complicated. It is comparing different tools, but I do understand why this is such a good test for AI. I mean, Devon, excuse me. Because ideally what it would need to do is that it would need to understand the request that you're asking, know all the relevant tools, and then obviously be able to do the coding and the scripting. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. Cool. It's good to plan. The plan itself may be not too technical and quite general for what he's doing or for what it's doing or for what Devin is doing, but it's good to have a plan. After that, it builds the whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. I guess the question here is how Devin would access these tools and what tools he does have access to. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. This is pretty cool. So the fact that Devin can use all of these tools in an environment is quite a game changer. I think most AI tools don't do that at the moment. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. So this is also pretty good. And I think the problem with AI now is that if you do ask ChatGPT or Gemini a question, you actually do want it to do that instantaneous research. And the fact that they're showing this with Devon obviously opening up a browser and looking at the documentation. I think it's a great way to visually see how Devon actually generates his results. Well done, Devon. Your dad will be proud. Here, Devon runs into an unexpected error. Devon actually decides to add a debugging print statement. So I'm quite glad that they did include errors. Obviously, that is quite a common occurrence in software engineering. So I think it's good that they added it in the demo. Reruns the code with the debugging print statement and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. Hmm. So this pretty much shows Devon finding an error, getting the error code, adding that print statement, figuring out what the error is, and then going back and fixing the script, which is pretty cool. I guess the question here is how difficult the error is. Because if it is an easy error, that's not an issue in software engineering. But when there's a real mother of errors, you know, the ones that are complex, and intertwined and may require you to fix your whole script, that is when a good software engineer shines. And I think that may be the issue is that cool, it can fix your day-to-day -day errors that any normal software engineer can do, but can it fix the real complicated ones? Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. Yeah, it's a simple visualization, but it's still good. It's still outputting what the initial request is. All of this is possible today because of the advancements that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning. So basically what they're showing in this visual is obviously Devon compared to other AI platforms and tools and Devon just outshines. He's just a star student. I'm getting my old calculator here. But they're saying that Devon is almost 2.8 times as more effective than Claude 2. And we know that Claude 2 is quite good. So it is definitely saying something. It's saying that Devon is obviously the best there is when it comes to solving software engineer problems. Now, this is impressive, hands down. The integration with other tools, the fact that it processes your request, develops a plan, solves issues, and then presents a final product just in one request is amazing. Now back to the question of will Devon steal all our programming jobs, which a lot of the news agencies seem to think that he will. I think for a junior developer, it is hard. It's hard to get in because currently there's a lot of competition from other people who are unemployed and want to start their coding careers. And then there is AI, which is coming in as a competition. I still think when it comes to really complex issues or working on a process or system that isn't well documented documented, you need an experienced software engineer. That's why companies pay good money for a good software engineer is not to do the simple day-to-day -day tasks, is to do the complicated processes. And I think AI just isn't there yet. But still, Devon, well done. You are very impressive. It's just that other programmers might hate you. If you like my video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.